Good morning, Theo Panthers. My name is Ashari Hankerson, and welcome to the news show. Today is Friday, November 21st, 2014, and welcome to the College and Career Motivational Week. Tell us a little bit, why is college important? Man, college is important because education is important. Everybody knows that getting a good job, getting a career, you got to go to college. That secondary, that post-education is vital. It's very important. Going to college, making money, all of that, it starts with going to college. That, that's why that's important. And now to Josella Pearson with the sports. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Josella Pearson. Last Thursday, the girls' varsity basketball team took on Creekside High, and we won 54 to 47. The boys took on a hard fight, but lost to MLK. In college basketball, Duke defeats MSU 81 to 71. Also. Kentucky defeats Kansas 72 to 40. In professional football, the Atlanta Falcons defeat Carolina 19 to 17, which leads them to be number one in the NFC. Now I'm back to you guys. Name all the numbers from one to 100, which have the letter A in their spelling. Nine. It depends on how you say it. If you say 100 or 100. None. None. I'm going to go with that. Teen. Bruh. How could a man go eight days without sleep? Um, take acid. Maybe he's dead. That's it. That's a forever sleep. What's the biggest state in the U.S.? California. Texas. I teach math. Texas, California, Texas. Um, you gonna go? With yeah, I'm go with she said. What is the religion of Jewish people? Is Jewish? They're Jewish, isn't that a religion? A few moments later. Jews, right? Christians. Christians. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Man went outside in the pouring rain with no protection, but not a hair on his head got wet. How did this happen? He was under the uh, no gazebo, or whatever that is. Over the He's bald head. Who's the vice president of the United States? That white dude with the brown hair. Is that Joe Biden? <laughs> Obama. Uh, And now to join Hawthorne, who interviews students and teachers about what they're thankful for. I'm Jordan Hawthorne, and I'm going to ask people today what they're thankful for this Thanksgiving season. Okay, so we have Ms. Lemon and Ms. Moore right here, and they're going to tell us a little bit about what they're thankful for this Thanksgiving. Okay, I am thankful for my family, good health, and great friends. <laughs> Um, I uh, will follow up uh, with Ms. Moore by saying I definitely agree. I am thankful for family, uh, friends, and um, good food. I'm thankful for my family and friends in my school. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, really for being on this earth, really. I have a lot to be thankful for. Number one, I'm breathing. Number one, I'm still able to come to Thero and volunteer for certain activities like today. Number three, what will I be thankful for? The many gifts that I receive that I don't ask for. I'm thankful for Thanksgiving break, for a week off, for a week where I get to go wear my pajamas all the time and sleep in. And I'm thankful for my family and that I get to host Thanksgiving this year. And it's my favorite holiday. So I'm super excited and thankful that it's the holidays because it's the best time of the year. And now to Courtney Hayes with the current events. Good morning, Thera Panthers. My name is Courtney Hayes, and I'm here with your current events. Today, the varsity basketball team will play Banneker High School at Banneker at 5.30 p.m. 
Next week from November 24th through November 28th, we will have Thanksgiving break. School will resume on December 1st. Seniors, we will have a college fair today. And also, if you're still in need of community service hours, please participate in the Black Night Run from 4 to 9 at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Thank you. And now to Donovan Harris, who gives us his presidential address. Hello students and teachers. 2014 is coming to a rapid close as next Thursday we will be celebrating Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a time not merely just to sit and eat nice spreads of food with our families and loved ones. It is more than that. It is a time to reflect and think about the things that we are truly grateful for. Some of you may feel that you have nothing to be grateful for. However, always remember that there is something that you can be thankful for. It doesn't have to be grand or extravagant, but something as simple as being able to attend school every single day. Even though you may not particularly enjoy coming here every day, realize that someone your age, somewhere in the world, doesn't have the means to attend school, and in some cases, live in a society that does not value an education. With that being said, value your education. Do not let the change in temperature or season cause you to slow down the hard work that you have done thus far. Students, continue to strive for excellence and become the best person that you can possibly be. Keep up with your grades, do not get behind, and if you are behind, work hard to get ahead. Be on time for classes, turn in your work on time, study, and if you need help, get help. Understand that education is a two-way street. With that being said, teachers, remember that the same standard of excellence, precision, and thoroughness that you desire from your students is much required of you as well. When you sit down to prepare your lessons, and even through mundane tasks, such as entering grades, look at the big picture. This what you are doing is not about you, it is about your future. The person whose grades you are entering is your future doctor, lawyer, educator, not merely a student at Thero High School. When you leave this building in the afternoon, you should have the assurance that my students now know more leaving than they did when they came. Ask yourself this question, is the level of work that I am putting into my classroom going to reduce the leaders that I desire to see in the future? In the final analysis, everyone who's listening desires to dare greatly. Don't accept anyone's limits on your life, not even your own, and never, ever give up. Have a fantastic Thanksgiving break, and I'll see you when we return in December. And that's all for this new show. Join us next week. And remember to stuff your stomachs with your stuffing. <laughs>